welcome back to Dilla's Kitchen, a one-pot meal served for many years. Today I'll be making an old-fashioned stew with a twist at the end and I'll end it off with a nice homemade brown bread. Let's go I to have that. one large onion that I've been frying in here. It's actually been fried for more than five minutes. So I have my meat here that I'm going to season with a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and I'm using one tablespoon of flour just to infuse the flavors. I'm going to give it a mix and I will be adding it to the pot just now. Adding two cloves of garlic to the pot. Okay, so I've added my meat. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes just to brown. But when making a stew, you stir a lot and you scrape the bottom. Make sure you scrape so that you just add the flavor to the pot. I've used a smaller pot to brown the meat. Now I'm adding a cup of a cup of beef broth. I'm adding a cup of beef broth to the pot and I've also transferred it to a bigger pot. I'm gonna cover it up now for about 30 minutes and just allow it to cook and we will I'm add a bit of thyme like half a teaspoon of it I'm gonna add a bit of mixed herbs as well it's not really necessary for this because it's already so nice and brown and all the flavors is infused Adding my potatoes. Um, that's about five potatoes, four carrots, big carrots, potatoes and carrots. I'm adding a whole bottle of beer. This is now going to bring flavor, all the flavor, to the stew. This is the only time I drink when I put it in the stew. Add a bit of pepper. I've already added salt and pepper, but I'm just adding a bit more pepper. And now I'm just going to wait for the potatoes to be soft. And then I'm going to add some peas. And I also have some spinach in the fridge. I'm just going to use it. Because I don't want it to waste, but I'm just going to add a bit of spinach. So I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes. And then my potatoes we'll is almost soft. So I'm adding my spinach and my peas. And I'm going to give that about 10 minutes. And what I forgot to say is that I added two red chilies to bring color. And four whole cloves as well. That is optional. So my bread should be ready in the next 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see. So my stew is ready. And I will be plating up in the next five minutes. I'm just waiting for... So my stew is ready. I'm just going to plate up. And we'll be back just now. So my ski is ready, my bread is ready. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.